Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the uh, fifth day of November in the year of our Lord, 2023. You know, once upon a time, there was sort of a cult classic film made called Idiocracy. And it was about somebody that awakes in a society, finds himself back in a society. I can't remember the exact circumstance. Uh, I think he might have been frozen and unthought or something like that. And he, he awakens in a world that is ruled by idiots. And it seems to be the, the virtue of society is its stupidity. Well, that time is now. <laughs> what can I say? The Biden-Harris administration, I, saw, I actually found, saw this on X or Twitter the other day. And, uh, well, I can't find it now. <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's still on YouTube in numerous places. Again, how to find things on X is a bit of a <laughs> not easy. Um, so I suppose there's some way that you can slip things into a folder or something, but uh, I haven't spent the time to learn how to do things like that. So uh, I'm still old school computer. <laughs> So anyway, here, uh, we're going to take a listen. Uh, Harris came out and announced a national strategy to combat Islamophobia. Just the other day. Did you see that? I did. So we're going to, I'm going to play this. This is, I think this is a video clip on YouTube uh, from The Hill. And, uh, well, we'll take a look at it. For years, Muslims in America and those perceived to be Muslim have endured a disproportionate number of hate-fueled attacks. As a result of the Hamas terrorist attack in Israel and the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, we have seen an uptick in anti-Palestinian, anti-Arab, anti-Semitic, and Islamophobic incidents across America, including the brutal attack of a Palestinian-American woman who is Muslim and the killing of her 60-year-old son. And so today, I am proud to announce the Biden-Harris administration will develop our nation's first national strategy to counter Islamophobia. This strategy will be a comprehensive and detailed plan to protect Muslims and those perceived to be Muslim from hate, bigotry, and violence. Oh, yeah. I love the way she ended that. Is it just me? Or is the White House so incredibly blind and stupid, idiotic, that they can announce a, a plan like this to protect Muslims against violence while the United States is enabling and supporting and cheering on the genocide and ethnic cleansing of Gaza and the West Bank using American-supplied munitions, ordnance, and weapon systems? Isn't this a little inconsistent? More than a little inconsistent. It's criminal. So what happens when you, your country is ruled by a criminal gang of idiots? I don't know. There's no provision for that in the Constitution of the United States. Especially with the, when the Congress is packed full of the same kind of people. And you have a, a, a universal party, a one-party state, which is a party of idiocracy and moral blindness and the love of money. What do you do? Well, <laughs> I'm a Christian. We don't call for violence. We don't call for armed insurrection. So uh, come quickly, Lord Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's the only answer. He, we need the Prince of Peace. We need the Prince of Peace to come and fix this bloody mess. Yes, uh, the kingdoms of the world, of this world, are no longer suitable for the management of this planet. Oh, this is nuts. And, and, and yet, I mean, they're, they're so blind, they cannot see the inconsistency between doing this. This, this is people that are given over to politics. 
and to optics. And they cannot see the reality of what they're saying. They, they are dystopian. They are postmodernists. Rational thought does not exist in Washington. They're, they're too trendy for rational thought. And things like moral clarity. No, they're politicians and serve in the best interest of themselves.